Okay, so in this video I want to show you a couple of tricks what we can do with a vocal. First one being a reverse reverb, an effect that you will hear a lot in electronic dance music. So what I've done here is I took just the very first word of the vocal and I set the low cut all the way up and the reverb to uh, plus 6 dB, the maximum amount. Sounds like this. So you hear mainly uh, the effect uh, on this vocal. Now we need to uh, bounce this uh, vocal effect down so that we can reverse it. Quick way of doing it is to uh, just paint a box around it so it covers the, the tail of the reverb like this. Command Shift R gives you the export audio box. I prepared one here earlier. Let's create a new audio track quickly and drag it on here. Now this is the uh, vocal. Now we need to reverse it like this and then we just have to adjust it so to zoom in so that the reversed vocal goes into the original forward vocal. They can overlap a little bit, that sounds often better to zoom right in, get it right, probably something like this and then we can reset the values how we had it on the main vocal, low cut 200 hertz, and the reverb was so down here. Now let's see how that sounds. Very cool. You can repeat it again here. So this is definitely a very effective and cool thing to use uh, on a vocal recording in a track like this. Another effect I like using sometimes is chopping up the vocals into small little bits. Now you can either do this by hand and uh, make small slices uh, in the audio itself or we can use the uh, slice to MIDI function again. Now uh, the recording has to be warped for this. 136 BPM is right but now when you right click on it we get the slice to new midi track function this time i think chops of eighth notes length uh, is enough takes a while for everything to work out all the individual slices and we should now be able to uh, play these slices on the keyboard <laughs> Now I want all the effects that we had on the original vocal on this rack with the little slices so we can just copy the entire rack over, hold ALT on the keyboard and drag it onto the new channel with the chops. And then with all these little slices you have uh, millions of uh, possibilities. Here's what I came up with. Just very small sort of vocal effects. Looking like this here. In the edit window we can uh, probably add a bit more delay, a bit more feedback, maybe give it a bit more reverb too and then that's that. 